Kaylin Fong is almost three months old. That means her chances of getting asthma might already be decided based on the bacteria that is living inside her gut. So are you going to isolate supernates from these things? Yeah, yeah. That's the finding of new research from this UBC scientist. Brett Finley collected fecal samples from more than 300 infants and then cataloged all the bacteria in that baby poop. And you know how to do big breaths? He discovered that kids with the highest risk of getting asthma also had low levels of four particular types of bacteria. If you have these four bugs, you basically had a way less chance of getting asthma. The theory that the bacteria interact with human cells to build a strong immune system. And one explanation for increasing rates of asthma is the hygiene hypothesis that our environments are too clean. I think this study emphasizes the, the fact that the bacteria that are around us are actually really critical for our health. And so being, being broadly exposed is actually beneficial for children's health. There's a ton of smoking guns suggesting it. This is the first real proof that here's certain microbes that seem to impact whether or not you get asthma later in life. So what sugar do you use on that? Finley says the research suggests parents can relax and stop worrying so much about exposing babies to bacteria in the environment. Let them crawl on the floor, let them lick the floor. I mean, watch a kid in action. They are basically hoovering everything they can into their mouth. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe they're trying to colonize themselves early in life. The next step, to find out more about these four bugs and perhaps one day be able to screen babies and deliberately expose them to the bacteria if they don't have it naturally. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.